Hello everyone. Fire can be ignited from falling tree. Water can be extracted from the depth of the earth. Nothing is impossible for a man who works with vigor and enthusiasm. Success will be yours if you plan your work meticulously. Karkala Dhanasudha Pre-University College is marching towards an extra mile with the smile of the momentous stars of molding minds. This temple of real knowledge, which believes in imparting quality education, may it be prepared for board exam or competitive exam. 193 students of our college got medical seats, 20 students have entered NITK and one student has entered IIT. The wonderful result that can be seen in the result of J.E. Main, Feb 2021. In this year, nearly 6 lakh students have written J.E. Main, Feb 2021. And the students of Karkala Dhanasudha Pre-University College, Ganitunagar have achieved a wonderful result in J.E. Main, Feb 2021. We have with us the achievers of J.E. Main, Feb 2021. They are Mr. Abhay Kamath with 99.86 percentile, Shreyas Pai with 99.69 percentile, Manvik Prabhu 99.35 percentile, who will speak on their success story in an interactive manner. It's a matter of pride and happiness that you have been successful in scoring a remarkable percentile in the decennial year. On behalf of Ajikar Padmagopal Education Trust and Karkala Dhanasudha Pre-University College, I congratulate you all and welcome you to this session. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, ma'am. So, how do you feel now? I'm very satisfied with my result. Really excited when I got my results. I scored 212 out of uh, 300. And I was expecting that I would get a percentile around 99.4. But when I saw that I got a percentile of 99.69, I was really very, very satisfied. I will work hard to improve this percentile. Okay, what about you, Manvit? Actually, I have got 99.34. Happy, but uh, deep within I know that I could have done much better. Yes. So, I hope that I can do much better in the upcoming JE mains like March and April. So, I hope for the best. I would like to know your individual marks. Would you please tell? Yes, I've scored 99.48 percentile in physics, 99.69 percentile in chemistry and 100 percentile in maths. I've scored 99.48 percentile in physics, I have scored 99.22 percentile in chemistry, I have secured 99.64 uh, percentile in mathematics. I have got 99.96 percentile in physics, 99.71 in chemistry and 97.01 in maths. Yes, it's a wonderful result of our students. Yes, Abai, knowing that it is a national level examination, how was it possible to get such a high percentile? If we see the trend of uh, JM in these years, the paper is becoming quite easy. So, to get a high percentile, we must focus more on conceptual mm -hmm. strength as well as high accuracy and calculation speeds. So, ensuring that through the tests which I gave, uh, I was able to score a good percentile. In Ganit Nagar, we could see the maximum hundreds in mathematics in annual exam. One of the students has secured 60 out of 60 in KCET maths. And Abai, you are the addition to it. Scoring 100 out of 100, that too in national level examination, is a Herculean task. So what is the secret behind this? So, uh, if I speak about maths, the things that matter are conceptual strength as well as the calculation abilities and problem solving skills. So, for maths, all I would say is understand the concepts and then you must uh, practice very well so that you get a good grip on the problems. So, uh, I've solved a lot of problems, uh, especially in uh, the last month I gave a lot of tests specifically for maths. So, because of which I could score uh, 100 percent. Yes, Abai has scored 100 out of 100 in JE Maths. It's a wonderful result and he has proved that he is in Ganit Nagar. Normally, physics is considered as hard nut, but Manvit has secured a very good percentile in the subject physics. So Manvit, how many questions have you attempted in physics? I have attempted 24 out of 25. How many were correct? Actually, whatever I have attempted, that is all the 24 are correct. That means you have left one question, right? Yes. Was it numerical or multiple choice? The one that I left was a multiple choice question. Actually, I could have done it correct, but I, by mistake, I read the question in a wrong way. That caused me to lose my 100% time. Okay. 
Strays. So you have secured 99.69 percentile and stood as the second topper of the college. How did you prepare for your examination? First of all, focusing the concept in the class, both 11th and 12th, then reading through the NCRT book thoroughly and the other reference books, uh, some uh, reference books which are JE mains and advanced specific uh, and solving them. First solving the unsolved uh, uh, solve problems and then going for the un uh, unsolved ones, preparing for the uh, unit test, the uh, part test, the full test, analyzing them, NTA bias and then some YouTube channels also helped me to uh, clear some of the concepts, solving the previous years. So all these help to prepare for these examinations. Yes, that means students need to be focused in their studies. We are happy to hear that Abai's percentile, that is 99.86 percentile, is more than toppers of 14 other states. Due to the pandemic, many of the students have lost connection with studies. But how did you manage to be in touch with studies? Okay, initially when lockdown started in the month of March, I used to, uh, some of the syllabus was completed and I used to read NCRT and uh, revise some of the class 11 topics. Okay. After that, uh, college had started conducting online classes for boards uh, through Impartus platform and later we had training for GE and uh, we revised the whole syllabus once. Uh, later we had training for KVPI uh, which helped me a lot in maths. So, because of mm. all of this, uh, I could maintain con connection with my studies and score a good percentage. Yes, that means you have utilized your time in a proper way. Yes. Yes. In many of the institutions, they have started the portions very late. But in Nanasudha, portions were completed very early, so as to enable the students to prepare for the competitive exams. Manvit, how has this helped you? Definitely, it has helped me a lot. Because sooner we complete our portions, the better it is for our competitive exams. We can start our preparations earlier. Moreover, JE exams and even uh, exams like NEET or whatever it may be, they are relative these days. So it gives a better chance for us to score higher percentile than others. Yeah, that means the completion of the syllabus very early has helped you a lot. Yes, of course. Yes. And we have JUT, that means Nana Sudha unit test. And it was done twice. In what way has it helped you, Shreyas? Nana Sudha has a very unique way of training students through JUTs. The, the, they are the mock tests. Uh, so it uh, made me to be on my toes and study seriously. It motivated me to study seriously and give my best. The level of the questions are quite good. They are higher than JE main uh, level. So this this also helped me to prepare for the same. Uh, JUT has also helped me to sit regularly for three hours, stay focused uh, and solve the questions. And soon after the JUTs, we get a detailed analysis so that we can analyze uh, what kind of mistakes we have uh, committed. Is it a conceptual mistake? Is it a calculation based mistake? So this also helped me to prepare for the same. We all are aware that top scorers in JE main examination will easily get into NIT. So would you prefer the same or do you have any other preferences? NIT ke Suratkal is an option for me but I want to prepare for the JE advanced examination and give them. My aim is to get into an older IIT. Okay. Abhay, what is your plan of action for JE Advanced? Okay, so we know that uh, JE Main is quite uh, easier than JE Advanced. So, uh, for JE Advanced, we require high conceptual clarity as well as good problem solving skills, especially in physics. So, uh, I have started preparation for JE Advanced and uh, will focus on solving uh, higher level problems uh, like uh, Erodo and uh, Croto for physics. For subjects like chemistry and maths, uh, uh, conceptual clarity is essential. As well as for maths, uh, problem solving skill is really uh, helpful. So, I am focusing on problem solving skills more right now. And in the end months, I will focus more on chemistry, especially in organic chemistry. Manvit, what is your target in next JE and even in KCET? Definitely, I would be aiming to increase my percentile as well as my marks. This time I have got 230, so next time I would definitely increase it to maybe 250 or more. So that's my aim in JE side. Coming to annual exam, it is a part of KCT because the KCT ranks are considered based on annual exam also. So I have to try to get more marks in even in annual exam, especially the PCM and I will also try in the languages as well as my fourth subject that is CS. Behind every success, there will be your teacher. So may I know the role of your teachers and your parents? 
My parents have uh, always been uh, motivating me throughout this journey for JE. My teachers have always guided me whether it be books or even uh, conceptual doubts. And the student mentor program in our college is uh, really good and the teachers acted as a guide uh, in this journey. So, and our president Dr. Sudhakar Shetty always uh, motivated me to aim higher. What about you Manvit? Parents have a great role in shaping a child's life. So my parents have always been there for me, whatever it takes. So they have kept my enthusiasm in studies and motivated me whenever, whenever I felt that no, I have done bad in my studies or may it be some other case. Coming to the part of teachers, without teachers I feel that this percentile would have no meaning. They have definitely helped me to get a good percentile. I hope that I can make it still better and even my school teachers have always been there for me even after my SSLC they have been still with me helping me and motivating me towards studies yes Reyes what will you say my parents are the real reasons for my success their uh, patience their guidance their uh, support their struggle has, ha has always motivated me to study and uh, do well in my examinations my mom has always been an inspiration been for me and uh, both my parents are uh, teachers in engineering colleges so that also motivates me to take up engineering. I also remember my school, Christ School, all the teachers there who have al always supported me to study well. I also remember my principal who always motivates me. Uh, all, all the teachers and the, and the principal have uh, motivated me to study well and do well in my class 10th board examination and I have secured 96.2% in it. Very nice to hear all these things. Normally. Our seniors stand as an inspiration. It is a trend in all the colleges. You might have got inspired from your seniors. Yes. And your juniors will definitely learn positive things from you. Abai, what are your suggestions as far as maths is concerned? Maths is a subject of logic. Uh, so, I would rather say, don't simply mug up the formula for maths. Uh, even in permutations and combinations, you will find many formulas that uh, people generally mug up. I would rather say understand them and uh, problem solving takes a huge role in getting a good percentile in maths. So uh, solve as many problems as you can and also uh, go beyond your comfort zone for uh, solving the problems. So it will all help in, uh, help in getting a good score in maths. That means practice makes man perfect. Manvit, what are your valuable suggestions to your juniors and classmates as far as physics is concerned according to me physics is more about visualization and imagination rather than formulas imagination and visualizations have given great theories to the world like general theory of relativity je's are nothing beyond that i would imagine myself to be in different situations like walking or opening a door and i used to think what are the forces acting over there so these have helped me to get a better percentile in Physics. Yes. Uh, Shreyas, what will you advise to your juniors as far as chemistry is concerned? The suggestions that my seniors have given me is for chemistry, NCRT is a very good book. It is perfectly designed and only NCRT can help you to uh, do well in chemistry. I have read the NCRT thoroughly and I have solved the related problems. I have, I have uh, solved some JE mains specific uh, books like N. Avasti for Physical Chemistry, K. Kumar for uh, Inorganic Chemistry and Problems uh, of uh, by M. S. Johan for Organic Chemistry. And for all uh, for these uh, competitive examination, the only mantra is practice, practice and practice. Okay. Along with your studies, what have you done to relax? I used to play badminton as well as cricket and uh, my hobbies include karate as well. And I used to play football sometimes. So uh, playing, uh, so outdoor games uh, are a great uh, are great stress relievers. So I would say relaxing is also important during this uh, journey. I used to take a walk out and have some uh, fre uh, fresh air. I used to always uh, I used to sometimes play chess and sometimes uh, and uh, spend time with my parents. What I used to do is that I am fond of drawing. So. Sometimes I used to draw to relax myself. Apart from that, 
whenever i feel that i have to get a break then i i used to watch some youtube videos that are related to quantum physics because obviously i am always interested in physics so these are the things that i used to do when i needed some relaxation that means we should have some extra curriculum activities also would you like to express gratitude to anyone in this platform if there is one person that i have to specifically mention then it is definitely dr sudhakar shetty he is the source of inspiration to me as well as all the students of my cl uh, class as well as this college and even my friends sitting over here so far we have listened the success stories of je aspirants of karkala dnana sudha pre university college ganitnagar i'd like to congratulate you all and wish you all the very best for your future thank you thank, thank you ma'am let us hope that all the students will be motivated by these achievers thank you for watching this interview session